good morning out here on Antelope Island in Salt Lake City. And uh, we've been limping along the last several days because we haven't had any AC hookup. We've been running off uh, just the solar. And then I've been using the car whenever possible for power. But uh, today we actually had a chance to hook up the generator. So it's doing nicely. I have a, a, a siphon hose. I was going to try that, but I don't feel like messing with it today. See if I can run the, the fuel line from the tank right to it, but I just went ahead and took the tank off and filled it. So that's been going for a bit. We got this new chair for Robin from Walmart. She wanted something more like a lounge chair, but the ones that, you know, the fold up uh, lounger type chairs are really big so we got this thing it folds down to not much bigger than one of these guys when they're put away by the way the insects can be really bad here at Antelope Island so definitely bring your off uh, for us it was mostly just mosquitoes until it got cold last night and then they were gone but this took care of the mosquitoes but I guess during the summer it's really bad but uh, just be prepared for that the little ice maker that we purchased is going along rather nicely. Yeah, it's uh, working really well for getting our ice made. Um, so far, we're really pleased with it. We'll keep you. We'll keep you posted as we go. Uh, it's an Insigna. We got this at um, Best Buy. We ended up paying sixteen dollars for it because we had a bunch of reward points from Best Buy for other purchases. So, um, but uh, that is working well. Another thing we picked up at Walmart was the Nutribullet Plus. And uh, Robin seems to be liking it so far. Mm -hmm. Robin, what, what are you thinking of it? You said you weren't going to get me in it. Well, other. Anyway, what are you thinking of it? Um, it, I like it, it. Does it do good on the seeds mm -hmm. and stuff? Yes. All right. So basically, we got our little ice maker and we got our blender so we can make all our shakes. Um, the generator is generating, which obviously all this consumes a ton of energy. And so uh, we are definitely having to learn. One thing this will teach you is how to keep your space organized, which we're still figuring out, how to conserve energy and water, which we're still figuring out. This is actually proving to be a really good uh, training mechanism to learn how to change our habits. It's kind of painful, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, Did you say it's painful? Yeah, it's kind of painful. Um, but uh, so far we are enjoying it, uh, mm -hmm. but it is stressful trying to mm -hmm. figure it all out and everything. So hopefully by the end of these next couple months we'll have it figured out. Yeah, hopefully we'll have it all figured out by the time we're finished. I do have internet out here. It appears we have internet even without the Wii Boost, uh, but uh, um, I do have internet out here also with the Wii Boost. It gives me about one more bar. So out here by Bridger Bay. You're going to get about two bars to three bars on internet um, with Verizon. So there is internet out here. The Wii Boost helps a little. Um, but uh, uh, so that is good. All right. This seems to be working. So I just bought one of these caps right here. And uh, I bought this hose from Walmart for seven bucks. And uh, the tank was actually empty on the generator. I went ahead and plunged it, let it go in for about 30 seconds so there was gas in there. And then I started it. And so it's literally running off the three gallon tank right there. All right, so that's where we hiked last night, Buffalo Point. We were Seems right, way longer. We were that. right up there. Today we're just driving around, checking out the different roads to see where they go. It's a mile hike. How's that a mile? It's a mile round trip. I know, but still. Here we are. Lakeside Trail. Somebody corrected it. Five miles. 
Uh, oh, okay. That'll go right to our Bridger Bay. So that goes all the way back to our campsite. Interesting. So anyway, this trail goes all the way to campsite. Are you interested or not? No, it's no. boring. Okay. It's boring. It's boring, she says. So right now I'm in the backcountry area of Antelope Island and as you can see from the hill behind us uh, they have a nice size hiking trail. Hiking trail on up on that area over there which uh, could have been interesting to try if you had more time here. We do not. It looks like that's about a six to eight hour hike. Um, Can you um, please pull the window up? What? Bugs are... Oh. And somewhere. bugs, bugs, bugs. We got bugs. <laughs> Definitely mosquitoes at this time of night. During the day when it was really hot. <laughs> During the day when it was hot, there really wasn't that many. It was actually the later afternoon when they started coming around, around four o'clock. So we'll probably come back to this tomorrow. They close this at 6 p.m. and we're out here a little late. It's the only working ranch. So now this is still a working ranch? Yeah. Oh. They also do, they do the, the ones that do the buffalo roundup. So here we are at the ranch and they got, it says upcoming events. Let's see what they got. They got a ghost tour, a ranch tour. Uh, so the ranch tour, so they do actually have tours of the ranch. Um, it is from October 15th, closes, it opens at nine, closes at five. And up till October 14th, it is open till six. So here's a map of everything. And our campground is way up here. Here's the road coming in. And we are, right here right now and then the road keeps going so we're gonna go we're gonna keep on going all the way down we're on a dirt road so it looks like the rest is all dirt from here on out the South Island Trail uh, four miles one way so we are right here so basically it stops Ow. other than mosquitoes it ain't too bad this time of year and those will be a little less buggy here in a little bit about 30 more minutes they'll be gone and bug spray will take care of them I haven't actually put bug spray on any to, at all today um, so I guess you just walk down this road. This road is the trail and it goes all the way to Unicorn Point. Ooh, that's cool. It's four miles. It'd be an eight mile walk. Maybe I can talk Robin into doing that tomorrow. Probably not. She said no. She heard me. She heard me and she said no. I'm not walking four miles. It see. goes to Unicorn Point. I, that's why I was saying I was wondering if there's a trail. Now that direction is Salt Lake City and Ogden, Utah, all that good stuff. That light's in there. Yep.
So we are here at Crown Burger. Apparently this is a popular place in the Salt Lake City area. So, yep, we're gonna go ahead and try them out. See how they do. I was like, well, it's not Burger King. And I went, wait, <laughs> Crown, Crown Burger. Yeah, that's funny, Robin. You just realized it, huh? Yeah. So they'll have a, the fireplace is not lit, but they do have a fireplace. So it has pastrami on it, which is interesting, right? And they have your fry sauce, Robin. My fry sauce? It's fry sauce. Why are you looking at it like that? You you make fry sauce. You said it's the most best no, thing ever. No, there's fry sauce and then there is fry sauce is not really fry sauce. Isn't it just mayonnaise and ketchup mixed? Not all people's fry sauce. Oh. That's actually good. And then I have a gyro. Let's see how they do. The signage, Robin. Wow, that's one thick shake. It's just like really thick, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow, now watch it come spilling out all over the place. <laughs> all right, so for a quick review of that place, we definitely, if we lived here, we would frequent that over probably Burger King or anything else. It is a fast food restaurant. Um, but uh, so the Euro wasn't like the best I've ever had, but it was definitely enjoyable. Better than I think I would say Arby's or something like that. The pastrami on a burger was different. I liked it, Robin was a little unsure about it, um, but the patty was good. I, I think that overall the food was pretty good. The prices are reasonable. We got all that food with the shake for about 25 bucks. Uh, the shake was five because it's ridiculously huge. I can't even get it out. I'm gonna have to use it. It's, it's, like, it's like a Frosty from Wendy's. Um, probably tastes better though. Let me try my spoon. Mm -hmm. Can I have the spoon? I need the spoon. Give me the spoon, mm -hmm. please. So I can sample this shake, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I was still eating off of it. Ew. Oh, my spit is on it. No, that's gross that her spit is on the spoon, but not gross. The shake was actually, actually, this is better than frosty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would say, of course, it is a fast food restaurant, so you're going to categorize it in a class of fast food food. Uh, but it kind of had a neat neat uh, dining experience in there with the, uh, I bet if the fireplace Sorry. Was, <laughs> as Robin blows her nose, a neat dining experience in there. <laughs> Check it out. You probably will enjoy it. Um, yeah, I would say it was better than that. All right, we're gonna go ahead back to the campsite and we're gonna, we're gonna get a little more work done, relax, and oh, by the way, it was wonderful today, getting the generator pulling off right from the tank. Um, still got a lot of fuel left, so that was really cool. Um, I was able to sit out and get some sun and work out underneath the uh, awning. Finally had a day where I kind of felt like it was, things are starting to come together. So hopefully we'll have more of those as we continue on this trip. Adding a little bit of touch of home. We got command strips holding it, and then one of these command strips up here holding it, so it can't move around. And then also for the refrigerator, um, everything kept flying out, so we bought these trays from Walmart. They're like 10 bucks a piece, but they actually helped quite a bit, uh, at least on these two shelves, to just keep stuff in the refrigerator when driving down the road because there's nothing more annoying than opening the refrigerator and having all the food fly out. <laughs> so, um, generator's running. We got till 10 p.m. before we can shut it off. Uh, we can't shut it off till 10 p.m. Well, you know what I mean. And well, we have to shut it off. I'm gonna get a little bit more work done. We're gonna go to sleep and see you again. We'll see you guys in the morning. No, you won't. They will not see you in the morning. You just crushed all my hopes and dreams. Sorry. 
if you if they watch everything a video, I understood about life if, is now if they watch a video where you have several days in a row you're gonna be telling them good night and good morning several times and it's ridiculous isn't she such a killjoy Robin say good night no say good night no say not doing it good night no good night no say good night no Coco say good night Say goodnight, Coco. Buenas noches.